We're in San Francisco in North Beach at my restaurant, Tony's Pizza Napolitana. It's like my flagship restaurant, so this is where it kind of, it almost all began, you know, I was working in the business for about 17 years with my brother. I said, hey, I'm gonna open up my own place, so we're at Tony's in North Beach. Tony Gimignani is an award-winning chef, philanthropist, and multi-concept restaurateur. I just fell in love with it, you know, I fell in love with it, I wanted to make it better, I wanted to be better at it, I wanted to be the best at it. Lindsay olives, these are natural olives. Growing up in Fremont on a farm, you know, I was always around produce. I mean, we did fava beans, cherries. I mean, I was always into food. There were apricots, corn patches. There was about five families that probably had about 100 acres. But watching my mom cook was a big part of my life. I mean, where did people say, you know, where do you get your palate from? Well, part of it was my mom and my grandfather. You know, learning how to grow things and pick things and then learning how to cook with those ingredients. There was a sauce base that she always made. Her spaghetti was the best. Adopting a strong work ethic from his grandfather and a palate akin to his Italian heritage, Tony embraces a fresh farm to fork philosophy. I mean, even if you look at the tomatoes that I use, the majority of the tomatoes I use is a California tomato. Stanislaus County, Stanislaus makes my own line of tomatoes. They're the best in the industry. I mean, when you look at the Ferraris of tomatoes in the industry, they come from California. All the basil, if you look at the garlic that we use, we only use Christopher Ranch garlic at every single location. So you look at Andy Boy, you look at some of these, you know, the names I'm pulling out are, are names of local California brands that we use. We stone ground some of our wheat that goes into our, our recipes. And he's sharing his passion for food through his various restaurant concepts and wide variety of offerings. We're at Tony's Pizza Napolitana. Next door is the original Slice House. Uh, you'll see slice houses all over the Bay Area, from Belmont to Haight-Ashbury to San Leandro to Walnut Creek. It's even a bakery that's localized that we make all sourdough bread and bagels that we make in North Beach. It's called Toscano Brothers. A little pasta shop over here where we make fresh pasta. It's called Giovanni's. It's just two doors down. And then I have a restaurant called Capo's, which is a Chicago-style restaurant that does deep dish thin cast iron skillet. So, a lot of different restaurants. If you're at a 49er game, you're at a Raider game, you're at a Warrior game or a Giants game, you'll see a Slice House or a Pizza Rock or a Tony G's at one of those locations and I'm serving up slices. I do pasta, we make fresh pasta, we make sourdough breads. It's a very scratch restaurant from our dressings to our pesto sauce. Everything's made from scratch. To date, Tony's racked up numerous awards and accolades for his pizza prowess, even being named a world champ in Italy, the first American to ever do it. But when it comes to pizza styles, he embraces them all. We were the first to start a restaurant that had multiple restaurants, multiple flowers, multiple styles. So it's like a, you know, you go in and you're a foodie and you're able to sit at a table. You can see a Neapolitan in front of you, a New York in front of you, a Detroit Sicilian grandma. You see all these styles and try them. They're in the right oven. They're using the right ingredients, the right sauce, flour, everything. Pizza takes you back when things were um, less complicated. It wasn't political. It was just having fun, you know? And as you grow up, there's nothing like eating something that brings you back to when you were a kid. What it was, no stress. You didn't have bills to pay and things to think about. <laughs> <laughs> so it's communal, it's round, it's square, it's thick, it's thin. It can be any combination that you want. Tony's also known to share his talent and craft with aspiring pizza makers. He's not planning to slow his roll anytime soon. You're always trying to make your next pizza better than the one that you made yesterday. Mm -hmm.